Hello friends, this is Suresh, SME in Automotive Dye Engineering. I believe all of you might got some idea about dye designing basics from my first series. With all your support and motivation, I am very happy to move on my second series which is introduction to dye manufacturing. If you still not subscribe my channel, please subscribe immediately to get future videos. And before going to the module, I believe most of you started going to company. I request everyone to remember these three tips. Number one, do not forget to wear face mask. Number two, sanitize your hands frequently. And number three, ensure social distancing while you are working in company. So I bring a concept of IPO model in dye manufacturing that is nothing but input process output the similar concept i have shared in my previous modules also because every output is dependent of multiple inputs and processes so in our dye manufacturing inputs i considered dye design and detailed manufacturing drawings number two manufacturing planning number three bill of material and the next stage is the manufacturing process that start with the machining process finishing process and assembly and tryout the next is output of sampling and inspection we will see one by one in the upcoming slides number one die design and detailed manufacturing drawings i have categorized into two types number one 2d drawings 2D drawings are nothing but blueprints of the die design where all the details are shown. It is consist of die layout, die design details, accessories. Individual accessories drawings are given to tool room personnel for manufacturing the components of the dies. Next, 3D drawings are also known as virtual drawings as we can see the objects in solid form and this helps for better visualization. You and used for machining process like a CNC machine and nowadays 3D drawing softwares are very much useful and we can directly convert from 3D to 2D for the tool room activities also. Number 2 die manufacturing planning is nothing but manpower planning, machineries planning, supporting resources planning in detail considering the delivery of the die to the customer. Chalking out the detailed work plan helps in better project management to utilize time resources efficiently. Also everyone of the team aware of the delivery dates. Number 3 bill of material that is bomb list. Every drawing you might have seen this list which has two types. One is in-house manufactured items. Second is standard parts which are called as bought out parts. In-house manufactured parts like forming punch, blank holder, cavity, strippers and other plate items and standard parts like we procure directly from the standard part manufacturers like bolt, double pins, standard punch, die button, retainers, standard cam units, coil springs, wear plates etc. Moving to process stage which is die machining process. I have categorized into two machining process. One is 2D machining, is consisting of conventional machining process like plate sizing, casting machining, drillings, chamferings, etc. etc. And 3D machining, which is a special machining process with the help of CAM software programming in the CNC machines. Number 5 finishing process. Finishing process I divided into two. Number 1 bench work. Number 2 surface finishing. The bench work activities like tapping, mating part preparation, stoning, so removing the milling mark, steel spiring, polishing the die and keeping the die ready for next stage. The sixth is assembly and tryout. So assembly I have made two. One is die assembly and next is spotting and tryout. So under die assembly all the components which are manufactured in-house and bought out from the suppliers we assemble as per the die design and drawing verifying all the quality before it goes for spotting and tryout 
when the spotting and tryout activity is checking the clearance part making the surface contacts and uh, uh, taking the initial samples at the output stage sampling and inspection i have made two one is a visual inspection and number two is a part scanning so under visual inspection the die maker inspects the panel on visually to identify any formality related issues like a wrinkle split any waviness any buckling and burr issues cutting issues which are visually seen and next is part scanning or cmm measurement with respect to the cad integrity checking as per the customer requirement and then planning for the die modification to get the quality to the expected level chaliye let's have a quick recap there is a seven stages of die manufacturing step number 1 die design and detail manufacturing drawings required as a input and die manufacturing time planning to meet the customer schedule then bill of material preparation for categorizing in house and bought out part and die machining process which is 2d and 3d then finishing process of a bench work and completing the finishing activities then assembly and try out to do the spotting and taking the initial samples then verifying the sample quality with through visual inspection and a cmm or scanning machine thanks for watching if you like this video please click like button and do not forget to comment please subscribe next video on die drawings bye bye